I work in the Kairos house. Uh, first thing we're going to look at today. Shimano Ultegra. And this is a DI2 uh, lever. The STR8070. This is the left side. Um, two speed. Or the two times. And this is for your uh, front derailleur. So um, it's compatible with E-Tube. It's got, um, as you can see there, variable reach adjustment. It's for braid, try and cross, uses mineral oil. Mm, I'm trying to decipher the other. Um, looks like it's Phillips uh, screwdriver there. And that looks like a caliper. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a serial number. Um, it's a nice box. It's had something removed on there. I can feel something has been taken off. Nice shiny box. Um, nothing on the back. Anything on the bottom is uh, this. So let's open her up and let's have a look. Pop my sleeves because they're in the way. Okay. So the first thing we see when we're in here is the instruction manual. A dual control lever for hydraulic disc brake. No, no, no. Some safety information, an important notice. Do not put your finger in the rotor because it hurts. Um, um, all the stuff here about um, inspecting your bike. Yeah, names of parts. So we've got terminals, bracket cover, remote switch on the top. Okay, brake lever and shifting switches. Um, I believe these two, uh, these new um, DI2 levers have two electrical ports and one hydraulic port. I believe the ones I'm currently running, the BR875, uh, have only one electrical port. Um, that's the only bit in English that I can see. So, all that side, that is it in English. Let's get on to the lever itself. So, here is the box. It's telling us, don't kink the cable. Let it run smoothly. Okay. So, we'll take it out and put it there. Nothing else in the box. Okay. Let's put that there. So, this is the lever. As I said, I'm waiting for the other one to turn up. Um, no one seems to have the right side ones in stock. So um, I'm just waiting for one of them to turn up. So there we have it. Altegra looks reasonably nice. Um, it's got quite a good, quite a nice spring action. Uh, buttons. The design of those looks kind of different. They are a bit more, um, they're harder to push than my, than the, my current ones, the R785s. They feel stiffer. It might be because it's newer, or it's obviously newer because it's brand new, but um, newer model, yeah, different model. Um, and this is hard to believe that it's actually a hydraulic lever because uh, it doesn't look like it's a hydraulic lever. I mean, my BR R785 has got a massive bit up here, and these are very short. They've also got a button here. You can hear that? And um, you can set that up to control, well, anything really. I could set that up to be my front, my shifter if I want, if I wanted, with the E-Tube app. Um, some people have that to control their computer. 
Like if I've got a Shimano 1000 or something, and not a Shimano, a Garmin, Garmin 1000, um, they use that for the buttons. So I'm actually quite impressed with those. Those are nice. I don't know what that's made of. It looks nice though. Look at that. Let's get a nice close up of this. So, uh, buttons. Let's go around the top. I'll turn her over. Underneath. Underneath. PG. Don't know what that is. Um, right, let's strip back this and see what we've got inside. So, I'll push that as far as I can. So it looks like we've got um, right here two electrical ports. One is blanked off. It looks like. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> I was going to sneeze there. I think I am. Um, five to seven newton meters. I'm assuming that that is the hydraulic uh, oil or the brake brake hose. Shimano mineral oil. It's got written there. Um, that looks to be where you clamp it up. That clamps on. That, that's the clamp. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see if we can strip the front. If I can put that back. Does this uh, lift off? I think it does, but it's a little bit tricky. It's well, um, it's well put together. If that's supposed to come off, is that supposed to come up? I don't want to pull it in case it's not. Let's read the instructions. Just scouring the instructions here. I'm not sure if I can lift that bit up if there's anything under there that needs to be. On mine you can, on my other one you can pull it back. Yeah, let's just take it off. There we go. There's nothing under there though. Let's just get that out of the way. There's a, there's the button. Yeah. There's nothing under there really. So I can put that back. He says. Probably broken it now. No, I managed to pretty much get that back together how it should be. Awesome. So that's um that's a look round my uh, left shifter. Like subscribe for more videos. Cool. Take care. See you soon. Bye.